3.54 a.m. and I'm headed to Marty and Megan's house to get to ride with them up to Peoria, Illinois so we can force mine in today. Um, I'm really tired. But it's gonna be a great day. Okay, we're live. What time is it? 6.38 a.m. We're somewhere in the middle of Illinois. Sun's just coming up. It's really beautiful. Um, on our way to Peoria for Black Dogs Metal Arts is having an iron pour today at Big Picture Peoria Film Festival. So... So I'm here with my friends Marty and Megan in the car. Marty's Hi. driving. Throwing down Hi. some metal. <laughs> <laughs> I keep fogging up the windows though because I'm too hot. I hear you're fixing to have an iron oh, pour. Looks like we're going to be fine. Hi, dude. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we're, uh, we're making it happen. So we rolled up to the pour site, and Danny was there putting some final touches on the furnace, making sure that the tap spout was going to be ready and, and that everything looked nice and smooth. Black Dog Metal Arts had been given this gantry. Unfortunately, it was a little bit short for what we needed it for. Um, but when you have a lot of hands, you can really do some amazing things. So we used the gantry to, to put the stack on top of the furnace. And then we used the gantry to lay the entire furnace and stack down. And then attach the legs to it. When the legs were on the furnace, then we used the gantry and some amazing rigging skills and all hands on deck kind of to raise it up and then do the last final push to get it up and rotate it to where we wanted it to be. So it was amazing to work with all those folks to get that done. So I'm with Jam right now and we, I can't even remember, I don't even know what time it is right now. I went with Jam to pick up the molds and some more uh, fuel coke and now we're going back to the site and hopefully they'll have well we left a list we left lay out the sand lay out the sand reline the ladle oh i didn't know that reline the ladle oh my uh, goodness lay out the sand uh start burning put in the stairs, yeah. put up the stairs they had the stairs almost put together before we left but yeah so we'll see where they're at and they're they're, they're done they're basically they're already pouring iron <laughs> right Let's <now>. hope, yes. <laughs> so these are all the molds that we have to pour today. And we just got to bring them up there. Hopefully there's going to be some people that can help us. I've got this guy oh, under my arm. Hopefully we're going to have a whole mess of people that will come in, converge, and help us carry them all up. When Jam and I got back, they had put together this, the tower or the stairs behind the furnace, the charging station, and they had a newly lined label, ladle and were burning in the bed coke. We had a little safety meeting of everybody that was gonna be on the poor floor, making sure that everybody would have the right leather gear, or the right safety gear on. So we burned in for a while and then once we went on blast, put some fuel coke and iron charges in the furnace, and before not too long, we had a little trickle of iron coming out of the tap spout. It was a small crew, but a very good crew, and we all worked together really amazingly. 
There wasn't a whole lot of molds to pour, so it was kind of a quick pour. Danny was running the furnace with Marty, and then Jam was making sure that everything got poured on the pour floor. Dave came out from Streeter, Illinois. He's a teacher at the high school there, and the entire pour, he worked to the tower and kept the furnace full of iron. The guys running the ladles and ladle warmer were Taylor, Matt, Duncan, and Logan, and they had actually run this furnace before at the 2019 National Conference on Contemporary Cast Iron Art and Practices, which was held at the Sloss National Historic Landmark in Birmingham, Alabama. Maggie was on the shovel, and Megan worked behind the furnace with Dave preparing the charges and keeping an eye on all of us. I was kind of a floater, giving advice to help run the furnace and also different things that we could do to make sure everything went smoothly. Um, There was, I did get a chance to hold a ladle or two, so that was super fun because I don't always get to do that. One thing that was kind of a bummer was that our ladle got real gummed up and you can see me here trying to trying to chisel out the back of it so that maybe we can have a, a better pour spout from the maybe on the back side. But it just really was kind of a lost cause at that point so late in the game. But all in all, it was a great success. Everybody had a great time. Before you know it, then you're taking taking it off blast and dropping bottom and then and then it's over. You know, we didn't have like a whole bunch of big molds. It was just kind of little stuff just to kind of get them started and and show the town kind of like what iron casting is about and and where we're coming from and what we're we're hoping to do in this area. So uh, here's some, you can see some of the molds as we're breaking them open. So the big picture Peoria award were poured and then awarded that day kind of amazing and then we've got some little little pumpkins and some scratch bowls and different components so the black dog metal arts they don't hold workshops and classes so if you're in in the area and you're interested in casting some things in iron definitely go to their website blackdogmetalarts.com and you know see what they have to offer and what the next class is coming up 